Well, welcome everyone to Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game. I'm your host, Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator. On today's show, Laying Your Retirement Foundation, part four in our series on how to create a successful retirement with nationally recognized retirement expert, author, and adjunct professor of the American College, Curtis Cloak. Curtis, welcome to segment four. Hey, Steve. Thanks for having me. I feel like we need to put our hard hat on. We're heading into the construction field. (laughs) We're going to walk through. This is your process. Laying a firm foundation. I mean rock solid. I don't care about what happens in the market. I don't care about my housing market. I don't care about what happens in any other environment that could correlate back to me. I want to lay a firm foundation that come, as you say, come heck or high water is going to be there. Walk me through why this is so important to think in these new terms and these products that can actually use to make this happen. All right. So in in the financial world, in the retirement world with professionals, we have this thing called the flooring strategy. In the consumer world, I'm going to talk about it as the foundation strategy. And what I'm trying to do is lay a foundation of income that used to be represented by pensions combined with Social Security, which in fact at one time was the foundation for merely every retiree in America that was retiring. And we've already talked about this in previous segments, that basically the, a lot of those uh, previous foundational income attributes that we so relied on in retirement have now evaporated. Many do not have them or they're much smaller than at one time that they were. So I want you to think about uh, a major construction project, maybe downtown in the major city that you live or maybe uh, where, where you live. How long and how many weeks and months does it take before, as you see the hole being dug and the work being done, you see anything come above ground? No, there's it seems like no activity. Yeah, and and all of a sudden the 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 the, the building starts to grow out of the ground, and what happens above ground happens perceptively a lot faster than what happened under the ground. Mm-hmm. That's what we're talking about is laying that firm foundation of an income floor that replaces what we once had in the form of pensions combined with our Social Security benefits. And so we're talking about a floor of income that creates that solid foundation that incorporates Social Security in any pension that you have that establishes whatever the software says after plugging in your story of Mm -hmm. retirement, your resources of retirement, that represents with inflation and taxes Mm -hmm. built in what is my income need during retirement? So this dotted line, Steve, represents mm-hmm. just a picture of that, that lifestyle need of income. Now, the last seminar I was in, everybody actually did their homework before they got to the seminar, filled out their budget for everything. So everybody had a number. And everybody also brought with them their Social Security, whether for their spouse and themselves. Yes. So we had a pretty good idea, but we all, almost all of us in the seminar, as we were sharing, all of us still fell short. Mm. So we had enough Social Security, but it wasn't enough to match up to yep. our domestic spending. So we saw our budget. It was the first time I've been in a seminar where we actually had homework done. And we looked at that. We said, well, what are we going to do for the shortfall? We yeah. still have essential bills to pay. Yep. So if we take a look here, I want you to see there are two different colors represented inside the, the lifestyle line or floor that or foundation that I've created here. And so this brownish color I don't know what it looks like on your screen. Could be an orange color, could be red. This color here represents what I'm going to call the essential expense need. Mm. These are This is the light bill, the food bill, the insurance bill, the car mm-hmm. insurance bill, putting gas in the car, all the essential expenses I can't do without. When I talk about laying a foundation as a minimum down, I'm talking about covering these essential expenses. So after I get Social Security, after I get pension, Mm -hmm. and then I plug in what I need based on the homework that you just described, the question is how much, what's the gap? How much more do I need? Mm -hmm. I can go out today and allocate a specified amount of money, and I can buy it in advance of retirement, just turn on it at a particular date. I can buy it at retirement. Heck, I can have not done this at retirement, but learn about this after retirement, Mm -hmm. and I can still do it after retirement. But I can actually buy a block of income represents the pension in order to fill that gap for essential income expenses. And then I still have to figure out if I want discretionary income for things that are not in the essential category, maybe Mm -hmm. vacations, right? 
uh, golf fees, whatever I want to fill in that's not essential to me. And then I still need to figure out what those, how I'm going to fund those. I might fund those for market tethered assets, but I maybe have discretion on them. I'll do it when markets are good and I won't do them when markets mm -hmm. are bad. But it's laying that firm foundation for the essential floor we're really talking about. Okay. So now let's say I have, I've identified, I've done my homework, I've identified my domestic spending on the essentials. Now I want to do the thing you just said. Hey, I do have discretionary wants and needs. I want to see the grandkids. I want to go to Disney World with them. I and my wife want to go to Europe on a vacation. So we've identified all those. And I've noticed on your platform here that it's growing. So yes. what are you doing with that? How come that's both growing for both discretionary and essential income? Well, understand that we live in a world of inflation despite what we think. And because our government CPI, consumer price index, or, or inflation factor calculators that drive inflation adjustments to Social Security and pensions are not counting everything. In fact, they're not counting food, they're not counting gas, they're not counting utilities, they're not counting uh, the things that we mm -hmm. see, medical care. We're not seeing those things counted for what the government counts for inflation. Inflation is usually two to three percent, much more than what the federal government's telling us. And it will be a fact that erodes if you don't build it in your income flow over time as time goes on. So we must build inflation into our calculations, especially for medical premiums, mm -hmm. because those are definitely going to rise over time as we age. Mm -hmm. And so when you build this foundation of the floor, these products that mm -hmm. we keep talking about, we can allocate for income, allow you to actually buy an inflation protection rider right inside of those products. So I can buy a 1% cost increase or a 2% or a three. I mean, I've, I've got options. So we advocate, let's build our allocation of our portfolio for income to mitigate and actually protect against rising inflation. And we can do that with guarantees as well. Okay, well, let's talk about these guaranteed products. But before we do, let's use an analogy. Social Security is America's largest retirement plan. I mean, it just is. Almost every American is in it, except for maybe military and government, uh, state and fed. I'm looking at the ability for somebody to have a guaranteed income, and everybody understands that coming from Social Security. Is Social Security, allegory, from an allegory point of view, is it an annuity? The, the, the annuity that everybody owns in the whole entire world is a Social Security paycheck, right? Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it's all based upon the basis of an annuity. You know, it's funny, you mentioned product I rarely do, Steve, in talking mm -hmm. with consumers. I talk about math and science sure. and, the, and, the, and the agnostic approach of this thing. but. Everybody wants a pension, mm -hmm. and nobody understands that under the hood, pensions are provided by insurance manufacturers who provide pension protection guarantees to pension funds, and they offload that risk as a pension fund to an insurance company to meet that pension obligation to the retiree and their spouses and their families over time. And that what that pension is, is a specialty type of an annuity that provides specifically mm -hmm. income. And so we all want a pension, but because media and so many bad advisors out there selling the wrong kinds of products, mm -hmm. we've created a really bad name in this word annuity. But we all want pensions, we don't want an mm -hmm. annuity, but it's really the same thing. Okay, now I've heard you talk about this in your seminars. You have two big pieces of the annuity puzzle one is called a single premium immediate annuity, and another one is called a deferred income annuity. They're similar in their approach, but also different. Yeah, so there are 42 different types of annuity products, and let me just tell you that they, the, all 42 varieties of these annuities have different goals in mind. Some charge fees, some charge no fees. Some are, are applicable to ordinary income tax treatment, and some don't have ordinary income tax treatment. They mm -hmm. have something called exclusion ratio tax treatment. We love to call that mm -hmm. first in blend out tax treatment, but it's a special mm -hmm. treatment only those unique subset of, of products have. And so understand, we're talking about the products that the government really supports that have no fee drag and have tax efficiency for after-tax investments that go into them. And so there are products out there that create pension-like income streams, and they're called 
income annuities, and, the, and they're the products that you referred to a minute ago, mm -hmm. Steve. Immediate income annuities for those that need income right away, and deferred income annuities that I can buy at a discount and turn those on at some point in the future, so I can buy that in advance. Well, don't forget to watch our next segment, The Happy Factor of Retirement, part five in our series on how to create a successful retirement. And keep in mind, before moving forward with any of the ideas you hear on our show, always check with your tax consultant, legal counsel, and financial advisor. You've been watching Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game.